This is the biggest misconception in the music industry. And there's multiple lies that are told when it comes to this topic, which is why there's no surprise that 99% of music artists fail and only 1% end up succeeding. It's because 99% of artists just follow the crowd. 99% of artists are broke, broke in the bank account, broke in the mindset, and never are gonna be able to get out of this cycle. They settle for barely ever releasing music. They have literally no proof of concept that their music's ever going to make it, and the only reason that they're still going is because they just believe they're the best. They just believe they're the greatest. And they just keep doing what everybody else is doing. They rip free beats off YouTube. They buy lease beats on BeatStars. They go pay for studio time, pay for an engineer for mixing and mastering, and wait weeks and weeks and weeks to get their songs back. And then on top of that, they have absolutely no idea how they're going to release and market their music. Oh, and because they spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on the actual production of the song, no money left for a budget to actually market and grow a fan base. But you're not like them. You've spent the thousands of dollars on the music production part and you're tired of it at this point. You've released great music, but you're not able to do it at a consistent basis because of the way that you're creating music. You're part of the 1% and that's why you're watching this video. You're part of the 1% that's willing to do whatever it takes to make music a full-time career. So let me show you why it's so crucial to do this one thing if you wanna take your music career to the next level. Stay until the end because I'm not just gonna hype you up and leave you with no actionable steps. After you leave this video, you're gonna know exactly which tools to use so that you can begin to go do this yourself. So first of all, let's talk about your current music creation process. It really boils down to five steps. Obviously, you need an instrumental, you gotta write the lyrics and record vocals, you gotta mix, you gotta master, and then you gotta market the songs. And the thing is, you're having trouble at literally every single step of that process. Maybe you're good on the songwriting and recording side, but when it comes to literally everything else, this is where you're stuck. For instrumentals, if you're part of the crowd that's ripping beats off YouTube for free or buying cheap lease beats on YouTube or on BeatStars, or you're just getting, you know, spending five, 10, 15, 20, 50, 100 bucks on these huge packs of beats, or you're just having a homie make you beats, and you're not even taking your own starting point seriously, which the starting point is make it, getting the beats done. If you're not even taking that part seriously, how the hell are the rest is the rest of the process gonna work out for you? The big issue is that you don't have creative freedom when it comes to the instrumental, and you don't have full ownership. So if you're one of these folks who's ripping beats off YouTube and buying cheap lease beats, and you're fine with that, get the fuck off this video. But if you've been doing that, and you're tired of it, and you actually wanna make a change, this is gonna be for you for sure. The next part of the process is obviously the recording. There's usually three ways that I've seen people do this. You're either paying for studio time, which means you're losing money and time because you have to wait for that person to meet up. You have to drive to the studio, you have to get all set up and all of that stuff, then you have to drive home. The other way is going to a friend's house to record for free. This is cool because you're saving money, but the problem is time. You have to wait for your homie to meet up with you. You gotta coordinate schedules. You gotta drive over to the studio to do that. You gotta drive home. And then lastly is recording yourself at your own house. The only issue is you don't know professional techniques to do this the right way. So you're saving money, you're saving time, which is awesome, but the problem is the songs aren't coming out professionally sounding, which is leaving your music not at high quality. Next is mixing. Again, pretty much three ways to do this. You could pay the engineer at that same studio you're at or outsource it, which again, you're losing money because you have to spend money on that and you're losing time because you gotta wait for the songs to get back and that engineer might have other projects they're working on, in which case your song might not take priority. Maybe you're using a friend for free, but that's also gonna take time for them to actually mix it with their busy schedule. And guess what? You don't have any creative control. And then lastly, you might be trying to do it on YouTube yourself because you wanna save time and money, but it ends up becoming a waste of time because you don't know what you're doing. And all the videos on YouTube out there with all the information is super confusing. Everybody's just trying to pull your attention one way or another, and you're not really getting the right amount of value, accountability, and you don't have a timeline. Next is mastering. You're either outsourcing it, which means again, you're spending money on it and you're waiting for the song to get back. You're having your homie do it, again, waiting for him to get the song back to you. And then the last one is actually using AI, a website like Lander. And this is actually what I used to use when I was a complete beginner. But when I realized that there isn't enough flexibility and creative control, even with Lander, I stepped it up and started learning how to master myself. And last but certainly not least, the thing that pretty much every artist says they have trouble with, the marketing. You post on social media, you text your friends, maybe you go do some open mic nights or some local shows, you make a horizontal music video and you post it on YouTube and social media, you don't run paid ads, and your songs never get outside your little network of people that you went to high school. You get frustrated, but you don't give up, which is dope. Now here's kind of around
around the time where the split off between the 99% and the 1% goes. At this point, this is what the 99% of artists do. So here's where the split off goes. You see those artists become cynical and become cynical not just about the creation of music, but the actual music industry as a whole. You see them make excuses and fall victim to their limiting beliefs, and then you see them give up on music because life happened. But you don't want to give up, so we're going to do something else instead. This is where the pivot's going to happen. Produce your own music instead. Imagine being able to come to your living room every single day and be able to make a song no matter what. You don't have to wait on anybody. You don't have to pay for any extra beats or studio time or anything like that. You could literally, in your own house, snap your fingers and bam, you can pretty much make a song whenever you want on command. Imagine how much further you would be able to go in your music career. Imagine how many more songs you could put out. Imagine the marketing you could do. Imagine what you could do if you could save the money on actually produce, like on the production side and put that toward marketing, toward making proper social media content right? Toward doing so many other things. And the cool part is producing your own music is actually a lot easier than you think. So let me start with the overall process and then I'm going to dive into some specifics. So the overall process is pretty much four steps. First, you got to gear up. Now here's the deal. If you've already got yourself a computer and your own home recording setup, you're actually all good to go. You don't need to get a MIDI keyboard. You don't need to get a fancy mixer or anything like that. If you got the computer, the headphones, the microphone, audio interface, and all that good stuff, pretty much good to go. The only other thing you might need to get is some extra software so that you can really make your music high quality and we're actually going to talk about those here in this video next obviously is making instrumentals most people have a challenge with even trying to do that because they think they need music theory but here's the thing you don't need to know music theory there's literally tons of tools out there that you can make your own beats without needing to know music theory we're going to talk about them next obviously you need to record your vocals and to be honest with you i have a hundred dollar mic the one i'm actually using for this video hundred dollar mic i've recorded hundreds of songs and i've gotten a lot of my songs to get a lot of good traction on the internet. One of my songs, Watch Me, got over 100,000 views. One of my other songs, Necesito Que Regreses, is well over 20,000 streams and it's going more. And I'm able to still put out high quality music, even with a $100 mic from Amazon. And then obviously the last step is mixing and mastering. But the thing is you need to be able to have a repeatable process. You don't wanna just come sit at the computer and guess your way through mixing and mastering. You need to have a super repeatable step-by-step -step process that every time you come here, you know what you're about to do. So let me give you some gems here. Let me give you some actual tools that you can go look up right after this video and you can start to dive into this world of producing your own music. Starting with how to make your own beats, there are so many different tools out there. In fact. I have a video on my YouTube channel that's called Produce Music as a Beginner. It's got basically six tools that you can use to start producing your own music. But just for you to get started today, all I want you to do is go look up two tools. Go look up splice.com and go look up Arcade by Output. Just go to output.com and go get Arcade. Each one of these is $10 a month. So for 20 bucks a month, you can essentially say goodbye to ever needing to get instrumentals from anywhere else on the internet for the rest of your career. After that is recording. Like I said, if you've already got yourself a home recording, setup you're pretty much good to go but I'll just tell you about the microphone I use I actually wrote it down it's called I can it's just a complicated name it's called the yeah CAD so C A D G X L 2200 and I've got the pretty much the classic Scarlet 2i2 red interface for headphones I've got Audio Technica ATH M40X $150 well worth the investment next is for mixing what I personally recommend is you could start with using stock plugins but if you really want to take your music to that next level and make it really high quality, I would suggest you go with Waves Creative Suite. You just have to go to waves.com. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, waves.com. Go get their Waves Creative Suite. Basically what it is is they've got like over 200 plugins. They're all extremely like top tier high quality. You can get access to all 200 of their plugins for just $25 a month. You could also go buy them one off. I'm personally just doing the 25 a month because 25 a month is like not that much money and it's worth it to have a high quality studio. The way I actually mix my songs pretty much goes like this. After I make the beat, I pretty much pre-mix my beat. So I pretty much do volume, EQ, maybe some compression. And I just make everything sound super balanced. Then when I go into the recording phase, I pretty much pre-mix recording my vocals. So while I record my vocals, I actually have plugins already on there and I record in a separate session. So I use Logic. So when I make my beats, I have one Logic session with all of the beat stems. I bounce that out as an MP3, go to a separate Logic session where I actually put the MP3 there. Then I record my vocals in that session with extra plugins. This saves you a lot of CPU power and it's just a way better process. Then when I'm done, I export those vocal stems 
out of that logic session into back into my beat session. Now I've gotten into mixing and basically the vocals are already sounding super, super clean. The beats are already pre-mixed as well. Then I can literally go through the exact step-by-step -step formula for mixing and it's gonna get my song mixed in about 90 minutes. And then after your song is mixed, all you have to do is go into mastering it, right? You wanna make your song sound good off the phone speakers, in the car, earbuds, when you go perform, it needs to sound good everywhere. So I use a tool called Isotope Ozone 10. Now what's cool about getting Splice for $10 a month is that you can actually also rent to own Isotope Ozone 10 for like 20, 25 bucks a month. With this tool, Isotope Ozone 10, here's all you have to do. You open up another Logic session, you title it your mastering session, open up the Isotope Ozone 10 plugin, take your final mix, drag it in there. To get started, there's actually an AI tool that they have called Master Assistant. If you're a beginner, that's a great place to start, great place to start getting to know all the plugins. You could also take a reference track, like a famous song, put it in there. Then when you do your master assistant, you could have it based on the actual reference track. It's pretty cool. But once you dial in your own process, you can kind of pretty much do it manually once you get to that advanced expert level. So that's basically how you could start producing your own music today. Now, if you're still feeling overwhelmed and you're still feeling like, I don't know, maybe you don't trust yourself or you don't have belief in yourself that you could make this happen, I totally get it. I've gotten tons of results for clients in my Rapid Fire Music Academy. One of my clients, Ryan B, actually started out with no prior music production experience. He used to spend thousands and thousands of dollars per year to get his songs professionally produced, but he has a full-time job, full-time career, he makes great money, and he still wants to keep his music dreams alive and still try to grow his music career. So he ended up joining my Rapid Fire Music Academy. Again, he's got a laptop and a microphone and that's it, and no prior music production experience, doesn't even know any music theory. But in the duration of just 90 days of being in this program, he's made over 30 beats, He's produced, written, and recorded five tracks. Four of those songs were done within the span of just one month. And one of those songs is already fully mixed and mastered. So if you have actually look at what he's been able to accomplish in just these 90 days, he's already made himself back somewhere between eight to $10,000 that he can now use for his marketing. One of my other clients, Ange, used to take three months to get one song done. And then in the span of eight weeks, she actually fully produced two songs. That means it was a blank logic session, made the beat, wrote the lyrics, recorded the vocals, mixed and mastered two songs in eight weeks that she fully owns the rights to. She decided actually she didn't even wanna to continue to be an artist. She wanted to start producing for other artists. And since then, she joined my Rapid Fire Production Sales Accelerator. It's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program I do for people who wanna make a full-time income out of their music and build a business. And in the first 30 days, she closed seven production clients. One of my other clients, Carlos, came into the program and had never even made a song. His music experience was singing in the car and the shower. In his first five weeks, he made his first beat, wrote lyrics, recorded vocals, and since then he's made 10 plus beats and he's already finished mixing that song and he's already writing another one. Another client that I've got named Jaden lives up in Canada, never made a song before as well. In just two months, He's made 12 plus beats and has already made a beat, wrote lyrics, recorded vocals, mixed and mastered his first track, and it's uploaded to be released December 1st. Austin B. Austin B only released one song prior to joining Rapid Fire Music Academy. And in just a month, he's made four beats and already written and recorded two songs. Devin Christodoulou also up in Canada. Used to spend over $1,000 per song to get it professionally made. Got a full-time job, his fiance and him are getting married, he has a child, he's got a full-time career but wants to keep going with his music career. Since joining the program, he's already produced multiple beats and has written, recorded, and finished mixing his first track. Cameron Penman, AKA C Penny. He used to buy beats on BeatStars and get beats off YouTube. In just one month in the month of August, he made over 36 beats and won our August beat making contest. Won himself 200 bucks to be able to go buy the full version of Logic. So at this point, if you're convinced that you wanna produce your own music and you wanna get started, here's your choices. First, you could literally change nothing. You could leave this video, go back to exactly what you were doing and go join the 99% of artists that never make it. The other choice is you could go on YouTube and start searching up for tutorials. That's actually exactly how I learned production. The problem is it took me four years to make great music and that was spending four to five hours per day, every day, Monday through Friday. So if you wanna do it, go be my guest. You've got no accountability, no timeline and guarantee when you're gonna get results. And essentially you don't know what you don't know. So how are you even gonna know what to start searching up? And then the last option, join Rapid Fire Music Academy. The same program that all of those clients got results in, you could get results in too. And we also guarantee results for every single person who joins the program. Here's how the guarantee works. You get two things guaranteed at the end of 90 days. Number one, you're gonna have at least one song fully produced 
written, mixed, and mastered by you that you're excited to release. Number two, you're gonna have all the skills you need to never have to go get instrumentals off the internet, never pay for studio time, never have to pay and wait for mixing and mastering, and never have to rely on a producer for the rest of your career. If both of those things aren't accomplished in 90 days, I keep working with you for free until you do. So if you wanna get started with this, then just go down below, book a call in the description. Obviously there is an upfront investment, so make sure that you're ready to take that commitment, invest in yourself, and take your career to that next level. I'm super excited to work with you. I'm super excited to chat with you. Thanks so much for watching the video. Hope you got some value and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.